This is my uh, 5 transistor shortwave radio homebrew and I want to show some experiments. In the first place this sound that you hear now. This, this sound is typical for Meteo fax. So weather cards are sent um, on shortwave uh, by a radio stations. There are a few of them in uh, Germany, for instance, and they and in England, and they send uh, weather fax. And when you have a translation program on your computer, you can see that the card, the weather card, is very slowly built up while you hear this sound. The next uh, phenomenon is that I want to show is the tuning coil from the VFO. So this back. This is the tuning coil from the VFO. And when I put a ferrite rod in it, the inductivity uh, changes very substantially and that means that I can tune in on the radio stations with this with this ferrite rod it's of course very difficult because you have to do it with one hand so this is also a way of tuning So my hand shakes a little bit. You can see on the counter that when I put in the core, the ferrite rod, the frequency changes very substantially. So this is also a way to tune a VFO, variable frequency oscillator. The next effect is that when I uh, do something with the antenna coil, that's here. When I put in the core, you can also see that the antenna coil is tuned. The frequency, the peak frequency, the resonance frequency from the coil changes. So I can also tune in by means of the antenna coil. So now I'm tuning in on the radio amateur on approximately 7, seven um, megahertz so also here the inductivity can be changed by means of a ferrite rod of course I can tune in also this is again the uh, major fax this is the end from the picture or the beginning I don't know it exactly but it's one of these moments. Now I want to tune again to radio amateurs. They are here. Switch on the beat frequency oscillator. And here you hear a radio station. I want to show now that it's very difficult <coughs> to tune in on such a small radio station by means of one variable capacitor in the VFO. I try to tune in now to an amateur station. And you can see that the movements that I have to make with the knob are tiny. So it's almost impossible to catch this radio amateur. And of course we have here the BFO. I think these are Italian radio amateurs and I 
don't understand the Italian language. <coughs> Yeah. This is Italian. And the next phenomenon I want to show is the so-called hand effect. And this is what is meant with hand effect. When I move my hand to the tuning capacitor, when I move my hand to the tuning capacitor, the radio station. Um, goes to another frequency, very slight to very slightly. I want to demonstrate that. Of course we also we have to hear a radio amateur first. I hope this uh, Italian radio amateur puts on his transmitter again. Otherwise I have to seek a new uh, station and it's not very easy. Okay, then I, in the meantime I can demonstrate this. When the VFO coil moves, this has a dramatic effect on the stability of the radio. Now, here is the radio amateur again. This is what I mean with hand effect. I can even tune a little bit with my hand. And the reason is that this radio uh, has no shielding around the VFO and around the um, high frequency stage, antenna stage, but um, it's experimental and of course you can uh, apply the shielding in on a later moment. <laughs> 